On Sunday at 1 o'clock, I signed the medical marijuana bill surrounded by advocates and legislators, uh, all of whom were instrumental in, in getting this much needed legislation passed. This will make the lives of so many Pennsylvanians better, uh, and I'm proud to have signed it. Later in the week, I visited key legislators who, who helped uh, pass this legislation, uh, Senator Fulmer and his constituency on uh, Monday and later in the week with uh, Senator Leach and Representative McCarelli outside of Philadelphia. Uh, and uh, again, it was something that, that uh, I think we're all proud that, that uh, Pennsylvania has moved forward in this regard. On Monday, I joined U.S. Senator Bob Casey uh, to sign the ABLE bill, which uh, enables Pennsylvania to join with other states uh, in taking advantage of federal legislation that Bob Casey sponsored in Washington. Uh, under this legislation, families with children or loved ones with disabilities can save tax-free up to $14,000 a year and up to $100,000 in a lifetime to put money into an account to defray costs uh, that those uh, loved ones or children with disabilities uh, may uh, uh, encounter later on in their lives. On Thursday, I traveled to Allentown to sign House Bill 12, uh, which was unanimously passed by both the Senate and the House, uh, and it protects uh, spouses uh, in, a, in an abusive relationship. I was proud to sign it with its sponsor, uh, Representative Michael Schlossberg in Allentown on Thursday. On Thursday, I traveled to Reading, to the Reading Hospital, uh, where I uh, was part of a roundtable on opioid abuse in Pennsylvania. It was the first of a series that I intend to hold throughout the state to really get our arms around this uh, important issue, important challenge we all face. A lot of good ideas came out of that, and I intend to do more of that around the state in the coming weeks.